What's up, YouTube? So we are back with another Challenger Euro Hecarim game. I'm gonna try out the new uh, camera angle today so you guys can like let me know because like on the comments last video, or I guess two videos ago, you guys said that you kind of like the new camera angle, so I'll try it today and then we'll see what happens so it happens. But yeah, so this game, I decided to make it a video because we're like, I think two or three games from 500 LP, which is like borderline challenger, right? And our mid laner of this game is actually playing Yumi. So, I said this will be a very interesting game, so might as well record it for you guys. But anyways, as per usual, doing the full clear top to bot. Because, like, sometimes when I have a Yumi, I go Conquer occasionally. But this game, I decided to go Phase Rush just because it's Jungle Graves matchup. And also, they have, like, High Mobility, Squishy, Balling too. So if I sit here and I have, like, Phase Rush, I can just run them down and kill them. Pretty sure Graves did Red Start. thing about Graves, though, is that he can probably E over the wall, level 2. And then if he does, could be kind of bad. Because he could do, like his red into like my blue gromp and then level 3 gank bot and if he does that it could mess up everything we will just have to see at the end of the day i am funneling i guess so i think we'll be fine though i think we'll be fine yeah today's actually the first day i uh lifted in a few days because i want to take a few days off since i had gone like i think two or three months without taking a day off lifting so since i got like banned i was like you know what might as well use that as time to like just rest. But today I hit a fucking crazy chest there, so this game could be booming. Okay, so the good news is Graves did not do the invade. Not bad. So if he didn't do that invade then, he must be like topside. If I had to guess. Ooh, nice. You know what? I'm actually gonna skip scuttle and just like path straight bot here. Nice, I <laughs> Wait, I tanked the uh, Jin W. I tanked the Jin W for Senna, so she didn't actually die. My god. Alright, then I'll grab mid farm. Because I'm only missing like 200 gold for um, for uh, boots and tier. So I'll take this wave and then we'll take next one too. Mm, I don't think you need ping us off, bro. We win this. We have like Exhaust Ignite Yumi. There's literally no way that they can win if they ever try to be turn. We can do whatever we want. Perfect. Oh shit, okay? Hold on. Oh wait, never mind, it's bad. I mean, I'm dead anyway, so I might as well take a camp before I die. There we go. You know what? We should not have overchase. After we flash, I should have just backed off. That's alright. We still hard out heal them because it is Hecker Yumi. But I swear I've never done like Hecker Yumi funnel before, so I don't know how this is gonna go. Uh, since I'm gonna shove in mid wave, I'm actually gonna pass straight for mid. Graves is gonna take my Raptors, but if I just get like this wave mid, doesn't matter. We can let him take his 100 gold. I'll get more than that. Alright, so now I'll just clear bot and then maybe look for bot gank. Bot gank or for dragon. The thing is, when you have a free scaling team like we have, the best thing to do is just get drag so that then you can play for soul later. Because the only way the enemy can run versus us is if they get soul, right? But if we deny them that opportunity, it means we auto win late game. That's one of the reasons I like playing for dragon so much. I mean, we could look for a dive here. Graves was asking the top side. Uh, Galio was 6 though. Yeah, I just want to back off. Cause if I- yeah, exactly. If I would've went for a dive and then Galio ults, it completely throws the game. So it's really, really not worth it. There we go. Hold on to my E there so that if he did try like escaping with R, I could just like knock him back and cancel it. Alright. I should be able to. I don't think I take the debuff, do I? Okay, no, now I do. It's fine though. So I got the cannon. I'll just run up, grab the red buff, and then probably reset. 
Oh, he never actually cleared the camp? <laughs> you know what it's like? When you sit there as a jungle and you count jungle the enemy but you leave one alive, it's like... It's like imagine there are two like kingdoms at war, right? And then they leave one little guy alive as like the messenger. But it's like they kill everyone else in-game. This could be good. Mm, not worth it. Okay, so I'll just do this and then... We take that and then... I'll probably just like grab Krugs and then reset afterwards. I'll just look for a scuttle, honestly. That's fun. Perfect. So now we also get Jin Flash on, which means now I can just go for the scuttle for free. Scuttle, and then maybe even like Regang Bot. Scuttle into... I mean, it's like the Herald. Maybe I'll actually try mid-gang, could that be good? Yeah, let's just turn mid here. I mean, there was a ward there, but I don't care. Let them know we're coming. Just grab Raptors now, and then we can do Wolves, and then... Yeah, and then after that, I could Regang Bot. Soraka might have Flash though, but I know Jin doesn't, so it should still be good. Maybe I'll actually go back mid. I'll just take this wave, and then look for recall. Mm, I'm not actually that strong because I haven't reset yet, so I need to be careful. She does have Exhaust Ignite though. Nah, I'll be okay. Jax is bot. Oh no. Nah, we don't want to do that. That's the last thing we want to do. No one I'm worth 750. Or 650 gold shot time. Okay, they probably try to dive bot here. If not smart, he TPs, we win the game. Wow, that's unlucky. You know, I'm not gonna try it though. Because Jax already has Sunder, so if I try fighting him, he 100% wins. It is not worth it. Just grab this, sell this, grab this. There we go. Now I'm strong. Now I am honestly quite ahead. I'll probably look for something top. Because if I was the enemy team, I'm looking for recall. And then I'm saying, yo, Nar is like over pushed. He's not going to be mega. I'd go for a Nar kill for sure here. So let me just come here. We'll take Krugs. I'll get level 9. And then we look for either an invade with Nar or we look for a counter gang top. But it's definitely going to be top side that the next play happens. 100%. Oh, that's a Alright. Now back off. I think he'd have ult up again. I shouldn't have greeted, but... <laughs> Damn, my bad. I shouldn't have greeted, but I thought for sure I could have done something there. It sucks I didn't get the shutdown on Graves, because if I did, I would have honestly won the game with that, but... I'm still, like, decently strong after that. We probably just give Dragon, don't we? I want to vault our ball in the top, yeah. So we just give Dragon, then I'll full clear top to bot. Maybe we look for someone in the top side? That's the only play to make. I'll do Skull and then maybe look for like a top side invade. I saw there was a pink here, but I don't want to go for that yet. I want to just like this for me. Yeah, I was going to ult, but maybe I can kill him before then. Okay. I just forgot to kill him. All we need now is we need Yumi to get anti-heal. Once Yumi finishes her anti-heal and I can get like my 3-item spike with... I could probably do Death Sand Spurvisage. I think if I do Death Sand Spurvisage, we just win the game. Just looking at the scoreboard, if I can get Jax's shutdown, could be game winning. Thing is, I don't want to overcommit, because if I overcommit into Galio ult, it's like... That's the problem. Galio mid actually does really well into Hecarim. Because it's hard to hard engage. Like, it's really, really... It's almost impossible, because if you try hard engage it... Then he has really good like counter engage, right? I, mean, I can't just go for like some kind of random engage yet. When I reset for man then we'll be okay. Oh, am I dead? 
Oh! Well then! I mean, that's whatever. Listen, it's good, and I'll tell you why. Because they forced me to reset, so now I get Mad Moon. And now that I have Mad Moon, all I need is Death Sands. Listen, Death Sands, Verbosage, I'm unkillable, I'm 1v9. I'm telling you. Let me get this, let me get this, let me get this. This is what I need. Stop his back. Stop his thing. Bro, we need to stop his thing there. I think he gets out now, doesn't he? Yeah. Honestly, I got three kills. That's decent. But if I could have gotten the Nar as well there. Or not the Nar, but the Jax. Holy fuck, that would have been crazy. Nah, we need to give in him. If I try contesting this, they just chain CC me, I die, and then we lose the game. But we don't have to give the second. Nice, that's two. I'm just queuing this minion to keep Q sacks. There we go. Bro, smoke screen is so cancerous. Queuing for Q sacks again. Alright, now we're good. Woohoo! And now we got this Baron I reset? Oh my god, I'm strong now. I'll just take Raptors and then we do Krugs. We reset. Vibing. Let's do this. Let's grab this and then let's grab an Elixir. Because I feel like next fight decides game 5 mid. Because, like, if I, dude, I am spiked hard enough now that I could genuinely just, like, end the game single handedly. So that's why I want to get Elixir, because I know for a fact that there's going to be a fight, especially since we have Baron we want to force, right? Okay, let's see what we can get done. I'm <laughs> there we go! Nice! Bro, I'm on some demon shit today, I swear to god. First workout in days has me feeling a little fucking crazy, I'm not gonna lie to you. Cracked out my fucking mind. I'm not even take pre-workout. I'm saving pre for when I do the unbanned stream. I'm not sure when it's happening, because I haven't received a response from Twitch, but whenever it's going to be the unbanned stream, going to go fucking crazy on the caffeine. I'll just one-shot her. There we go. Just like that. Perfect. I really want to reset for my Spurvisage now, because once I get that, bro, it is game over. Reason I'm going Spurvisage, by the way, instead of Force and Nature is because we do have a Yumi and Sunny Heals as well. So amplifying those healing, gonna be crazy. Um, I'll get another Elixir. I could get Stopwatch, but I don't really think Stopwatch is gonna matter that much this game. There we go. That's how it's done. Let's fucking go, baby. I'm just gonna go for the jag right away. Just because I don't want them to randomly get soul. Because, like, if Jin randomly, like, flashes in the pin, so it's, like, soloing it, bro. It's, like... <laughs> be so fucking weird. I have ghosts, and so now I can just, like, hard force on enemy. Let's do it. Just waiting. Oh, 
Alright, I mean we should be able to end the game off that, right? Nice. Mm. Hold on. They got him, right? There we go. I mean, can we end though? It's Senna, Nar, Victor, maybe. Maybe. Alright, we can send, but it's fun. We're surviving, we're surviving. Now we re-engage. I got him, I got him. There we go. Hold on. <laughs> Easy. I'm not gonna lie to you, I wasn't too sure how to feel about the Hecarim with Yumi mid funnel and champ select, but looks like the game went well. And now let's see what LP we are. Alright, let's see, hold on. Honoring the Yumi and 469. Not too shabby. All right, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Uh, sub if you haven't already, and I will see you all for the next one. Peace.